Who can't rap? Hey, welcome back kings, queens, anybody else on the rise in between. If you're new here, my name is Charles Daquan and I'm your host of the pre-show, The Rise Atlanta, where I'm giving you hot topics, conversations that slip, and I promise to stir up some mess that you will not forget. So make sure every Thursday you tune in right here because I got you locked and loaded with some information with The Rise. If you paid attention to this episode, J2 walked in and the people of Chicago thought they was going to eat my boy up. They just knew. It's like, so you know where you at? You know where you at? Yeah, he knew where he at. He know exactly where he at. And if you notice on that second round, he ate him up and everybody was quiet. By that third round, nobody was talking. So J2, so do you. So let me run it back for you. One round in Jeff is a thing. And for the people out there that missed it, Hemi and Ra, they a little thing too. They ain't make it, they ain't make it as far as with one drill and Jeff might have made it too. But I don't know. Y'all stay tuned. And if you can, if you will, drop down in the comment box and let me know if you think they a thing or is it just a bromance. So I told you guys I could not wait to have my first guest. I asked you guys and you voted. So none other than the controversial Mr. Tay G himself. Welcome to the floor, man. What's going what on? Up, what up, what up, what up? What's up, cool, man? Cool and cool. So I didn't get the opportunity to meet you at the premiere. You were busy, I understand. But I I gotta tell you, I have a thousand and one questions, so I hope you're ready to hop on board for just a few of them real quick. Ho hopefully they're the right questions, but let's get into it. So this might be something that's a little the people been wanting me to ask you. Alright. I know you dropped a song in February of last year, right? Mm hmm That was that wasn't milk and cookie, that was X Pack. The G Mix. Yep. That was the G Mix, mm -hmm. right? Now in September, August, you dropped milk and cookies? September. September, yep. And then January, you just dropped Pep Talk, which we, we waiting on the music video now, right? Correct. Okay. So, why you ain't dropped a song with you and Ayo yet? Like, there's a, there's a big time gap between, like, all of that. So, is let's, there, like, let, a... Let's, let's get into that. Why I ain't dropped a song with who? Ayo or Jean? Who? Because as what I see... Let me see. Talk to as me. As what I see, you said I'm whack. I can't rap. So, nigga, you ain't run a motherfucking song in the first place. Okay. Let's 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 be real. Let's not be fake about it. Don't do shit for the camera. Oh, because okay. if you really wanted to do it, you would have made it happen. Because okay. you got the track and you got my number. So, but he asked you about it. Yeah. Again, that same day, uh -huh. I sent it to you. Okay. So for you to say why it ain't never happened and all that, all that, why didn't it happen? Because you ain't never wanted to do it. Because okay. remember, I'm whack and I can't rap. So it's not. The people ain't going, they, they want to know the answer, but me and you, I feel like we the most realest people that's in this little vicinity right now. Okay. So, do you think that one Jarrell and Jeff, you think they like a thing? <sighs> Let me know. Give it to me straight. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Love dramatics. But no, I, I don't. Like, again, like, I know that they're real cool. Okay. I'm not around them enough like that to even think something like that. And you know, sometimes in our community, People love to say somebody because you you know what I'm saying, certain situations and things like that. So again, I'm a nigga that mind my mother business. Okay. So asking me, I don't think so. Okay. So look, y'all in the comments, I wanna know, do y'all think that one drill and Jeff, do you feel like this is like a, a bromance or like they walk into a relationship no. or like they hold on, I'm not done with the people. <laughs> or is it like a DL relationship where they don't want the people to know? You feel what I'm saying? We want to know. It could be a bromance, and nothing's wrong with a bromance. Hold on, but all bromance. That Hold on, but we got to find a bromance if that's the case. Then. Nice, 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 nice. So thank you. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you for being my first guest on being my new position as being the host of the free show. So being my first guest, I want to go ahead and get you with this. Uh, but get gifts. We get gifts. <laughs> Everybody ain't getting that though. Everybody ain't getting that. Listen, Listen up for the words. That's because I ain't everybody. You feel me? You must. Perfect. Last week, it was a crazy ass episode, but y'all ain't seen nothing yet. It's about to get crunchy. It's just unprofessional. Like, that's unprofessional as f. Like, why would you. I miss everything. No. I'm talking meek, meek. 
I'm giving them last. I told what? you, bitch, you down one up. I can do a ghetto establishment. A hood establishment is different from a ghetto establishment. Doing a bit. You've been doing shit. Uh, it's, it's a wrap. I don't need y'all to see what Jeff's number saved in my mind. He already cooling. It's all about this. Brother, you in the bed, brother? Why you in <laughs> Wait a minute, we got some things to say. The OGs when it's really giving a recap, aka low G's. But I know it's gonna be some mess, I can tell you that for sure. You ain't been in them fields, rummy them cleats. While I hit my cha cha. I'm a Yeshua, uh uh. Big thing in the beginning, go pop pop. Tuck talk to the ain't gonna pop pop. Yeah. While I hit my cha cha. Uh, you a no, I'm a uh huh. Say hi, and a and a hot pop pop. Come to me, cause I break off pop pop. Yeah. While I hit my cha cha. I'm a Yeshua, uh uh. Big thing in the beginning, go pop pop. Tuck talk to the ain't gonna pop pop. Yeah. While I hit my cha cha. Uh, you a no, I'm a uh huh. Say it with me. Cow, 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 You don't like commitment. If I don't like commitment, I want to be a relationship type of person. No, you can be a relationship type of person and you just don't like to commit. You ain't your single? I am. Recently single. Been single. You said what? Was you committed in that relationship? I couldn't be, and if it was open. You can't be in a relationship when it's open. Ain't no it was a, it was an open relationship. Really? It was. Swear to God. So Rico got mad about all that shit. She got mad about doing all that stuff in an open relationship. That don't make sense, bro. But don't talk to me. Talk to them. Somebody I could really let my hat on with. Mm -hmm. I could really let my hat on mm -hmm. with. I want to be with my best friend that I know. No matter what, we gonna argue, we gonna fight, we gonna fuss, we gonna do all of these things that friends do. But at the end of the day, we love each other. We gonna grow together or we gonna grow apart? Absolutely. If we gotta go separate ways, we still gonna love each other. Swear to God, on my brother and my father's grave, that was an open relationship. Mm -hmm. Y'all thought y'all wasn't gonna see me this season, I bet. Well, I'm here. Now let's get it started. So I have a witness there outside of my neighbor seeing me beat the brakes off of me. She made a sound. You ain't pop up and walk in nowhere. You never had a key. You don't live with me. Y'all, I did not want to fight this man because I know what these hands can do. But the man came over. I asked him to leave because we wasn't together. I asked him to leave and told him he was trespassing. This man literally mushed me and told me to make him. When the bitch said make me for the second time, I made the bitch leave. Then she thought about it, she, cause she couldn't see these hands coming at her. I don't know what the, but the bitch came back and that's when she kicked the door in and keep my car. Listen, I'm glad you're good though and you happy and everything's straight and you ain't got to worry about none of that no more. I do hope you find love again one day. Bitch, that wasn't love. So I should have gotten his ass the first time he did it, but you know, emotions is high, so I tried to pay it. I actually to leave again and he mushed me again and told me to make him. So, you know, I ain't think twice about it. Get the f out of here, bro. How me and Tay started off was we really, really had a deep, deep connection real quick. And it was, you know, he he made me feel safe. He made me really feel safe. And from that point on, I I, I gave him a lot of trust. Ooh. <laughs> okay, what well, led up to, I say the spiraling was, um, I cared about Tangie. And he was out here really hustling and working, trying to be an actor. I was offered, I was given the opportunity to create something where I could give people an opportunity to do what they love to do. Because somebody gave me an opportunity. Not going to grind, not going to grind. 
Hold on. What led to the spiral and to the fight was the disrespect. Why would you want to embarrass or disrespect a person that loved you enough to make sure you had what you wanted and cause so much chaos and confusion behind the scenes? You got people who I'm working with on set thinking that you f***ing around with somebody else on set. And it's like, I'm coming to you trying to talk to you about it and you like, oh, this ain't your business. I'm grown. We ain't got to discuss this. But you're making it awkward for me to be on this set because you sitting here making it look like something that it supposedly isn't. And you got everybody around me talking about it. And you cool with it. You cool with the disrespect. You cool with people coming to me telling me that you're telling people that you're only with me because of the show, because of some storyline for a show. This is what people on set are coming to tell are coming telling me that you're telling other people. So what led to the, the fight in the in the online rants was the disrespect that was given to someone who only wanted to give you something out of love and you couldn't respect me enough to stop thinking with your and if you was gonna do messy shit to do it at least a list at least need enough to where it don't embarrass the person who put you in that position and the way things were looking, I can understand. I'm not even gonna say why. I'm not even saying I'm mad about the restraining order because I can understand because I talked to his mother. His mother was the reason why he took out the restraining order. I do feel like he finds it fun. I do feel like he likes the pettiness of it all. And a part of me feels like it gets his dick hard because he feels like he that man that he got a nigga chasing after him making him make it going crazy over him because let's let's be honest tay is narcissistic that's a fact one two your stock is coming for you three four he's probably lurking at the door five six and giving no more y'all my life has been a living fucking hell I don't see this man in my dreams, damn sure at all, but it definitely feels like his nightmare on Trash of Dine Street. Sitting here come my blessings. Uh, ain't no need for stressing in my life. My enemies see my phone weapons. Yeah. But I know I'm protected by the blood. Protected by the well, today I'm having a meeting with my executive board and you already know that I have Team Danae, the singing side, but Team Danae has an executive board and this executive board is made up of my managers, my musical directors, my executive producer for my record, um, my hospitality coordinator, my productions manager, my role manager, my personal assistant, um, and also my chief administrator for both Team Danae and Exploring Your Gift, which is my coaching business. The purpose of this particular meeting is that I have a brand new single that's out and we need to push it to radio. I feel like this is the single that will that we do need to push through to radio. Um, but yeah, so the radio promotion is a big thing. Um, I am, I do have someone that I have, that I work close with, um, with, a, he's the VP of an organization that I do a gala for every year. Adrian, we did it last year and we did it this year. Um, they are offering, offering a grant for independent artists um that have a music education background for something that they're offering so and that grant is ten thousand dollars 
Um, and because I have inside connect, I'm going to apply for the grant. Um, and if I get the grant, that money will be allocated for the radio promotion and marketing. Um, I do feel like it is a very, 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 very good song. Let's make sure that we punch up my division in that because uh, what happens at that point, it's going to it's going to increase your likelihood to connect to other brands from that because your vocal coaching and styling classes are going to be producing other artists to continue to flow. So by all means, you want that to be a part of what you're putting out there for grant advantages. So Overall, I think we had a very, very good meeting. It was productive and that's all I could ask for. I hit every point that I needed to make. We highlighted the things that were most important. It was our first time meeting in a while so it was a little longer than our usual meetings but hey it's work to be done so we had to have these conversations. Said is what I said. Season two is a recap of season one. Yeah. I want everybody to find one thing before we get started that you want to manifest for your career this year. Like my family, bro. If you talk about me being adopted around them, they gonna look at you crazy. Yeah, like they may want to fight. We've been friends. How long you been my my aunt? <laughs> I don't care. How long you been my aunt? All my life. I don't care. Well, if it's time, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. If it's time, again, those boundaries, creating boundaries, um, and 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 loving people from a distance. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I believe it. I wholeheartedly believe in loving the people from a distance. Mm -hmm. I love you. Over there. Love ain't gonna change. Mm -hmm. I value you. I respect you. But over there in yeah. that chair across the room or maybe across the state or across the country. But I love you. But I still love you. Uh -huh. Just not over here. So today is Hemi Fest. I'm super excited because it's also my birthday. And I do this every year around my birthday. It is 30 minutes before showtime, however, and nothing is in place. My bar is not here. The bartender is not here. Still, the stuff's still not set up. We still figuring out sound. The sound is still not set up. Um, everybody's here though. Everybody's here. It's just, all the other shit's not here. So I'm super duper excited today for Hemi Fest because like I said, this is the first time that I'm actually doing like a real performance performance. Like I'm used to just hitting the stage and just like kind of letting the spirit take me. But like for the fact that I got cues, I'm gonna be here and I gotta be there. Stuff gotta be set up, people gotta be in place. This is a whole different energy. So like my just prep and getting ready for today, it just feels way different from any other time before. For show. Okay, if y'all could, like I said, stay back here. If you could, please stay back here because y'all already decided putting y'all clothes on. I don't want nobody to see y'all looks. Like, I want everybody to kind of be like, oh shit. And then you're gonna lose the oh shit if y'all just out here turn it up with them. Do that after, okay? Um, and just relax. 
stay in the air conditioning. You know what I'm saying? It's chill. Everybody chill. We're going to try to run through the show as quickly as we possibly can because we are way behind. Um, we are going to take a small little break, but when we take it, I'll let y'all know. I'll put it in the group chat for the choreographers, and they will let y'all know what's going on. Like I said, they have the list. Let's just have a good show, y'all. Good energy. Um, I told everybody, I don't know if y'all... Um, I don't know if y'all saw it, but I want everybody to find one thing before we get started that you want to manifest for your career this year. And hold on to that tonight. So, uh, Hurricane Dew is in town. I haven't seen her in a minute. She's been gone, uh, running around the world. Like, if you know who Hurricane Dew is, you know, she's never sitting still. You know what I'm saying? Sis is always outside. So, um, she's pulling up. Uh, my brother Stokes, you know what I'm saying? We're about to sit down, chop it up. You know what I mean? Have a couple of drinks and just kind of like unwind. So, wait, did I update you on everything that happened with the whole little adoption shit? Mm-hmm. You told me a, a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little pieces here and there, but you didn't give me like the all the details and all that shit. So okay, so you see my third round versus back. Yes. The third round versus back, I could barely get through it. Now okay, I think I couldn't get through it because I was emotional. No, I was just shocked that I had beat the shit out of Mac Myron already. <laughs> so I I couldn't really think. I'm like, damn, I already beat Mac Myron, bitch. I might get this money. It was uh it was kind of sort of embarrassing to tell my friends yeah that's a lot okay just got came in contact with her i get in contact with her she spazzes out the that's like she has crazy no Wait, so, like, crazy. The, so crazy so crazy what bro. the f like, like who, when you... he told me i was just i was floored i just i had no understanding but, but how did you feel like was your feelings hurt did you want to cry you, or okay so at first when it first happened i wasn't um i wasn't um i wasn't i didn't want to cry i wasn't sad mm -hmm. i was still a little enthralled and excited about hearing her voice right because you know i'm 39 years old at this point i'm 38. i was mad when he told me this story. <laughs> I was more I was mad. Like, he, like it's not something that you go around telling people like especially when it turns out the way it turns out you know she doesn't want anything to do with you blah blah blah, blah, blah. so it's like having a discussion um it was it was it was i needed hurricane do and stoke to be there um for me to talk about it and so I could hear what they had to say about it. But not only that, just to kind of look at them and see them not look at me the way that I felt like they possibly could. And her her approach is very much like, I'm tired. Why are you doing this to me? She feels like I'm doing something to her by reaching out. And I'm like, what, you, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? Like what the, were her wording though? Like, well, it wasn't yeah. even doing it, but I cat. Okay. Mama got real sideways. She was like, I could have did something else. Oh, that's what you said? I, bro, she said this like five, six times oh, while we on the phone. Oh, I swear to God, she said it like you five, on my mama, she said it like five or six times. She's like, I could have did something else, you know, but I didn't. I felt like I did the right thing. I'm like, you did do it. And then I, I told you, I, I told you, I said, let me tell you, I remember, because I told you, I was like, I chomped her off. I was like, I was born to do something. <laughs> so you didn't have a choice in the matter. You think you could have did something else, but you didn't really have a choice in the matter because I was ordained to do something else, regardless of what you may have thought was gonna take place. Right. It was uh it was refreshing man. I'm just glad that I got like two people on my side, like two people with me, rocking with me that I can be hundred percent honest with and talk about those those dark feelings with.
With dancers, choreography, he had to make sure he met his marks and everything, but his performance quality is absolutely a one. Like when I tell you he's spot on tonight, he is spot on tonight. <laughs> Music is good, his energy is good, the look was top tier. I'm super proud of him. Um, yeah, he did his big one. So since I perform the same music every single time that I do a show, because you know I am booked and busy, unlike some people. <laughs> I wanted to do a new record tonight just to kind of test it out and see how the folks is feeling about it. Do a little chant, a little call and return. I think that's what it's a call and a answer. Something like that. But I'm going to say, I ain't never been pressed by the hope because I'm pressure. The umbrella, Ella, 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 Ella. The AJP or walking, I ain't chasing. I'm a call, give a patient. Ain't a hold down, save me. The whole time is going, I ain't never been pressed by the hope. My name is A.O. Rayshawn. Shout out to Henry Wade. Thank you for having us here. Shout out to more music. DJ Wilkie. What's up? Renee on the mic. You know. You already know. Y'all can follow me on all socials. Include in Snapchat. Snap. Include Cash App. Cash App. All of them. There we go, A-Y-O, all of that. A-Y-O-R-A-S-H-A-W-N, I'm A-O Ray Sean, thank y'all. What's so crazy is after this performance, it just hit me and made me realize, like I've been doing this shit on my own this whole time. And instead of trying to force a team, maybe I need to just continue to do it on my own. Cause I did, I mean, I did get help, but not from no management. They didn't help me book a session. They didn't help me book a dancer. They didn't help me book the show. Honestly, I feel like this is where the, the end of the road happens with me and this management company. They say my price for dickless. I don't like them bitches. Pussy tight and vicious. Hit them likes to lick this. Screaming for the opposition. Toting black. Thank you so much. Yeah, I said our sound is. Yeah. So we move as family and we sing as family. All right. Oh, my. Oh, my. So now it's time to rehearse. It's game time. Uh, we about to get ready to prepare for our show that we got coming up. And I got to make sure that my people are on point. So I'm, I got my game face on. I got my director's hat on. It's time to go. Come on, come on. Over, over, over again. Over, bringing me out. Over, over, over again. Don't you turn from So we're preparing for our um, concert that we have to do at the Vision Cathedral. And we're in our conclave, which is um, a season of molding and training and to be imparted into and perfecting our craft. And so the, the goal of this rehearsal is to make certain that, you know, we're running through our, our show for uh, the coming event. <laughs>
true leader to me is one who is able to take a vision and to articulate that vision amongst a group of people and to use their care and the relationships that they build and their overall compassion and understanding for people and help them to buy into what they're trying to do. Um, and I believe that I've been a true example over the years, the last 10 years that I've been working with this group. My nerves so bad. I'm tired of this. <laughs> no, that's my. So Jeff is an amazing director. He's an even more amazing friend. I've known him personally for maybe over the last two years. We've got to know each other a little bit better. Jeff, he loves to keep things in order. Jeff is an amazing person. Um, when I first started coming to this church, he was one of the ones that welcomed me and just loved on me from the day I started here. He is an amazing coach. He's always extra. And he, he uh, looks at me for direction sometimes. So, um, me and Jeff is always clicking in every area we can. Jeff is one of my favorite persons in the world now. So. A lot of niggas waited till I dropped and go and listen. This they on whack with him, my rhymes and all that shit they spitting. The original, you carbon copies, who you So today, your boy Big Dog, Big Tay G, you know, not the small one. So I'm on set for the deception. We out here getting ready, you know, figuring out the wardrobe. Well, the wardrobe's already figured out, but laying it out, you know. Like, I thought I'd ask you to get somebody to fix this leak back here. It's a mess. Shauna, superb performance tonight. Thanks. Not the acts. What's, what's up with you taking a song from me and Jesse and giving it to Jay Ron? Now this next artist that's about to hit the stage made his debut in 2014 on the label and he's been topping the charts ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody to get up on their feet so they can rock out with the GOAT himself, Jay Ron! So as we here and I'm doing my thing, you know, I have already got dressed, come back out, you know, wait until it's my time because it ain't just me filming today. It's other castmates um, of the Deception filming and things like that. I see my little bro, my homeboy, Ayo, walk in the building and I'm like, wait a minute. What's up, bro? What you doing here? He like, I'm a featured artist. Hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. So he actually casted me, and I actually appreciate that. Thank you, forever grateful. Um, yeah, he casted me for that, and you know, I showed up and did my thing, and that was all she wrote. It's about to get crunchy. I'm Mr. I Candy, I put it all out there just like that. And if you got a problem with it, baby, we're going to be filming again and let's get a little mustard. You feel what I'm saying? I hope I ain't been fucking up all these years. You might, you might have. Did you blow in it? Yeah. You know so remember, you're not singing lead. You're singing, uh, um, you're singing background. Let me be the one to give you Like from your dancers, I don't think that you would do that with your dance. I don't think you would be like, oh, this person halfway got them and still use them. 